I frequently talk about the massive importance of using real ear measurement to verify the programming of your hearing aids during your hearing aid fitting. However, there are still occasions where even real ear measurement is not enough to make sure that you're receiving the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing aids. So in this video, I'm talking about sound field testing and how this can also be used to make sure that you get the most out of your devices. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Real ear measurement is widely regarded as the gold standard of hearing aid verification when programming a set of hearing aids. However, sometimes additional measures may be required to verify if your hearing aids are programmed properly to make you hear your absolute best. Now I want to be clear here, this video is not me saying that you can or should perform different verification measures other than real ear measurement. What I'm saying is that real ear measurement should still be performed, but there are additional measures that can be also added on top of real ear measurement to make sure that you get the most out of your hearing aids. In my opinion, there are only a few valid excuses for not performing real ear measurement. The first one being a patient who physically cannot have the measurements performed on them. Think of like a kid who won't sit still. You can't perform real ear measurement on an individual who is not a willing participant to have these measurements completed. The other one is, is if you are getting a significant discount on your hearing aid treatment and only if you understand that you are actually going to be giving up a significant amount of benefit from your hearing aids. That being said, there are some additional measures that do provide some additional information about how much benefit you are or should be receiving from your hearing aids. And those additional measures are obtained through sound field testing. The absolute best hearing aid clinics are the ones that have the ability to perform real ear measurement, which are usually completed in a room that is quiet but not soundproof like you see here. These clinics also have the ability to perform a variety of unaided and aided sound field measures, which are completed in a soundproof booth with loudspeakers mounted in multiple locations like you see here. You may recognize a sound booth like this one from your initial hearing test. When I'm talking about unaided sound field measures, I'm talking about testing performed inside of a booth without hearing aids inside of your ears. You're just using your natural hearing ability. When I'm talking about aided sound field measures, I'm talking about testing your hearing inside of a sound booth with hearing aids inside of your ears that have been programmed to overcome your level of hearing loss. In general, this concept is not too complicated. Basically, we're looking to see how well you perform without hearing aids versus with hearing aids, and this can provide us with a additional information of how much benefit those hearing aids are giving you. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video, but if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it encourages YouTube to recommend these videos to a greater audience so more individuals with hearing loss can get the help that they need. That being said, I greatly appreciate it and now back to the video. All right, let me go ahead and give you a few examples of different types of sound field testing. And the first one that I'll be talking about is functional gain testing. Now, some of my viewers who've been watching my channel for a long time probably recognize functional gain testing from a video I did about three years ago where I was saying how functional gain testing is not as good as real ear measurement. But that does not mean that functional gain testing has no value. Basically, functional gain sound field testing is when we're testing your hearing loss thresholds at different frequencies using warble tones or narrow band noise in an unaided condition and then testing you again for these thresholds in the aided condition. If functional gain testing in a sound field has been conducted properly on hearing aids that have been programmed for your hearing loss, then we should see an improvement in your hearing loss thresholds, which means that your hearing soft sounds better. If your thresholds have not improved or have only improved slightly, then we know that your hearing aids have not been programmed properly to make sure that soft sounds are audible for you. The second type of sound field testing that can be performed is unaided versus aided word recognition in quiet. The concept of this one is super simple. Play a list of words like say the word cat or say the word dog at a certain volume level from the sound field speaker in the unaided condition. Then, put hearing aids inside of your ears and repeat this test at the same volume level but with a different list of words and see if your percentage of words correct goes up. This indicates how much improvement in speech understanding and quiet that you would receive from your hearing aids. 
If there is little to no improvement in the percentage of words correct in the aided condition, then it could mean that you're not receiving enough benefit with those hearing aids in a quiet situation. And the third type of sound field testing is speech and noise testing. Now there are a variety of different speech and noise tests that can be performed inside of a sound field, so I'm just going to cover a few of them right now. First you have unaided versus aided quicksin testing. Quicksin testing is basically when you have to listen for sentences being played from the speaker, but there's escalating noise mixed in with those sentences, and the noise and the sentences are both coming from the same speaker in front of you. When we do this in the unaided condition, we're trying to identify what your signal to noise ratio loss is. The lower the number, the better. Then when we perform this test on you in the aided condition, we want to see that number drop even further. If your hearing aids are programmed properly, you should see a significant reduction in your SNR loss score. There was a terrific study done in 2012 by Levitt and Flexer that showed a significant improvement in speech and noise scores when digital hearing aid programming was verified by real ear measurement, once again proving the significant importance of having real ear measurement performed on your hearing aids prior to this type of sound field testing, especially if you want to hear your best in background noise. You also have what is called the two minute speech and noise test. This is when individual words are being played from a speaker in front of you and speech babble is being played from a speaker behind you to see if your hearing aids can help you separate the speech from the background noise when they're coming from two different locations. During this test, we are looking to see what your unaided versus aided SNR50 score is, which indicates to us how much background noise can be present for you to understand 50% of those words that are being played from in front of you. The lower the SNR50 score is, the better. So ideally, if you are in the unaided condition, you will have an SNR50 score that is higher than the aided SNR50 score. Now there are a variety of different ways that you can administer these different types of functional gain, speech and quiet, and speech and noise sound field tests. This all really just depends on what type of information you're trying to obtain. So if you're trying to identify if someone would be a good candidate for a cross hearing aid, or a bone anchored hearing aid, or even a cochlear implant, these tests can be set up in different ways to indicate whether or not someone would actually receive significant benefit from those different types of devices. However, for the purpose of this video, these sound field measures are used to identify if your hearing aids are going to help you understand speech better by actually testing your ability to understand speech better with your hearing aids versus without your hearing aids. Now I know I've said this several times inside of this video, but at the end of the day, there is still no better way to verify your hearing aid programming than to have realer measurement performed on your devices. Now if you do not know what realer measurement is, then I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will have linked in the description. But sound field testing can be a valuable addition to real ear measurement to make sure that you're receiving the most amount of benefit from your hearing aids, especially if you have realer measurement measurement done and you're still struggling to hear and understand speech with your devices. At a bare minimum, some form of verification has to be done on your hearing aids. So if you can't get real ear measurement done, then you have to at least have some form of sound field testing to know if your hearing aids are actually going to provide you with real world benefit. And if you don't have any form of verification performed, then you are going to be leaving a significant amount of benefit on the table. When you really think about it, there is a high probability that you're going to be spending a good amount of your hard earned money, and if you want to get your money's worth, then you have to make sure that you're having verification performed on your hearing aids, and one of those types of verification that you can have performed is sound field testing. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it, and if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.